welcome to Interactive Podcasting. In this video podcast, Ms. Scammell will demonstrate how to examine the knee joint. She gives some good tips of how to examine for the collateral ligaments for those that aren't built like a gorilla. We hope that you enjoy it. Morning, Mr. Beckham. Hi there. I'm just going to examine both your knees that you have a problem with. Okay. okay. First thing I'm going to ask you to do is actually stand up for me, please. If you could sure. come over here and just stand up so you can just have a look. From in front, look for varus and valgus deformities and for any quadriceps wasting. From the side, look for any flexion deformity, posterior tibial subluxation, or genu recubatum. From behind, look for any popliteal cysts or any other deformities that are visible. What I want you to do now, please, is walk to the table and back. Come back. That's great. And then hop up on the couch for me, please. Just okay. lie down. With the patient on the couch, you should observe again for all the same features that we look for when the patient was standing. I'm just going to have a look at you both of your knees close up. I noticed you've got quite a bruise there. Looks like you've had an injury playing some contact sport. Yeah, that's right. I'll try not to hurt you by touching that area. The first thing I want you to do is push both your knees into the bed hard as you can. Push both your kneecaps down. <coughs> that's good. And now I want you to lift that leg up in the air. That's fine. And that shows me those muscles are working. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to test for temperature. And then I'm going to feel all the way around your kneecap or patella. And I want you to tell me if it's painful at all or not. No, that's okay. And I'm just going to wiggle it. And do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to wiggle it. Yeah, that's all right. And that's okay. Okay. I'm just going to test to see whether you've got any fluid in either of your knees. I don't think you have. If I thought that you did have a lot of fluid, I would do a different test and I would know that you had some fluid in there because the little dimple that you can see either side of the patella will have gone and will have been filled out and then I would do the balloon sign um, and at the same time the patella tap. And the way you do that is you put your hand over the patella pouch and you milk the fluid down into the knee behind the patella your index finger and your thumb on the joint line as much as you can and then you gently push down on the patella and you either feel your fingers move apart or, you can able, or you're able to blot the patella up and down. Clearly I can't do that in knee because your knee's dry. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just test to see whether you've got any crepitus in your knee. That means some cracking feeling behind the kneecap. So just bend up your knee for me as you can. Same with this side. All move equally and fully. I'm just going to feel around the joint line now. Tell me if it's sore at all. Actually, you can come down just a little bit again. Just make it a bit more comfortable. Test the outside. exactly the same on the left knee. On the outside. Okay, just going to feel behind your knee cup. Up behind your knee. The same this side. That's fine. Just bring it down a little bit more. The final thing I want to do is just test the stability of your ligaments. And what I'm going to do is just move this knee backwards and forwards, okay? Just relax those hamstring muscles behind there. So, test the other side. Relax up again. That feels stable. Can you bring both of them down now, please? What I'm going to do now is just test the ligaments on either side of your knee. And the way I found it easiest, because most people have got bigger legs than I have hands, is to just bring your leg out to the side, providing your hips are alright. And just let your leg drop a little bit, I won't let it fall. That stabilises the femur for me, or the thigh bone. 
and we just move it from side to side. And you've got a little bit of toggle, which is normal. You do exactly the same on the other side, just bring it out to the side. And take it like that. And that's normal as well. The alternative way of doing that is to bring the knee right up. Again, it relies on the fact that the hip is normal. And then I grasp your leg and your ankle and your foot underneath my elbow and to my side. And I try and stabilise you and move you like that. But personally, I find that harder to do. So I don't do that way. Okay. I think that's all we need to do. I'd like to sit up again, please. And thank you very much. To finish up your examination, thank the patient, ask them to get dressed and tell them what you've found. Thanks very much for tuning in to this podcast. If you've enjoyed this, more content can be found at interactivepodcasting.com. Alternatively, to get all of our content, subscribe to the Med School podcast in iTunes. Thanks and goodbye.